Well, new tonight, mental health providers are pushing for Medicaid reform as they continue to struggle with the system. The group plans to take their frustrations to the state capitol for the annual hearing, which is a yearly review with state lawmakers. New Science Mayo Davis is live to explain why they're pushing for change and what they want to see happen. Mayo. These Medicaid providers have been struggling with delays and payment issues for years. And with the pandemic increasing the demand for services, they've decided now is the right time to really start pushing for change. Finding a medical provider who accepts Medicaid can be a challenge. I didn't have any problems until actually yesterday. I emailed her and I was like, hey, I'm trying to get in touch with you again. And she responded with her email saying that she no longer accepts Medicaid. Essence Chandler says it was frustrating. Her therapist didn't give an explanation or recommend another provider. Sometimes I'm great with my mental health and then other times I just really struggle. And so I, I thought I had that person. I could just be like, hey, can you get me in? And now I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? Danielle Patterson says providers aren't taking Medicaid patients due to issues with the system. Getting paid on time getting paid fairly. One of the big issues is we're trying to get insurance to actually take these clinicians who are unlicensed or in their training program. Patterson is a part of a large group of providers planning to lobby for changes at the SMART Act hearing at the Capitol in Denver. One is allowing pre-licensed clinicians to be able to um, serve patients. Um, one is um, setting a minimum reimbursement rate for services. Medicaid has the lowest reimbursement rate, quite low compared to um, other carriers. The State Department of Health Care Policy and Financing says they know behavioral health needs improvement and they've already started making reforms. This includes funding uh, that can go directly to communities to help build out the services that are available there. This includes investment in technology and data tracking systems. Um, this includes provider trainings and workforce development. Some of those changes are rolling out now, but some will take longer. We recognize that um, the way that we have calculated reimbursement before um, is not really meeting the needs of some of our small and medium providers. So we are changing the way that we reimburse providers to make it more equitable. And for anyone looking for treatment, the state recommends checking the back of your insurance card for a number to call to, for help finding a provider. If you need immediate assistance, they say you can go to ColoradoCrisisServices.org. In Colorado Springs, Mayo Davison, News 5.